1.83 goals against. As it is Steinmetz in across the Quinnipiac line. Sharp angle. Shot in front. They score. It was Steinmetz from the corner. The puck bounded around in the crease. And we'll see if that was Steinmetz. And Steinmetz will get credit for the goal. Well, once again, the uh, Saints were able to score early as they did again the other night. And again, it's from a bad angle. Uh, it looked to me that I feel that a changed direction may have hit this, been off a skate of Jaden Lee in any event with just a Into an open net. It remains 1-0 St. Lawrence as Salem lobs it high in the air, bouncing puck. And here's the step in front, the shot denied. Oh, that was a big opportunity for Alexi Pelton in. And Petrozelli makes it. That's 10-8. Mikowski tied up briefly by Sip alone. The puck finds an open man in the circle. A shot and LaPointe scores. Greg LaPointe goes top corner. It's his second of the season. And St. Lawrence has a 2-0 lead. Well, credit LaPointe. Who just bounce off the wall? Watch the carom that the puck takes off the wall. And then LaPointe driving towards the net. Ends up on his stick in the circle. And he goes far side top shelf to beat Petrozelli with 742 to go in the first period. St. Lawrence once again, as they did the other night, out to a, a lead. The pipe. Great look by Peter. Minute left in the power play. Tucked a low wrist shot in front. They score! And the Bobcats strike on the power play. Three. No way they were going to beat this kid. And they hit the post. They stick with it. Had the puck in the zone the entire time. And eventually off the scramble, the Bobcats finally, with 3.51 to go, make it a two to one game. And we've got a game again right here with 3.51 to go. And now cleared out to center. Ashton Fry is going to have himself an open net. He'll walk in and score. And St. Lawrence takes a 3 1 lead with 1.56 to play on Fry's first of the Tory. Off the faceoff, win a shot. Big block by Buell. Rebound, they score! Zach Metza with 64 seconds to go, and the Bobcats still have some life left in them. Well, when you've got the ability to score, as Quinnipiac does, you're really almost never out of a game. So they're back to a one-goal deficit, another shot block, and then Metza just jumped on it and fired it home, short side, or far side, and uh, with a minute four to go, it's now three to two St. Lawrence. And Looking across, broken up, lobbed out to center. Good clear. Metz has got a hustle after that puck. It's going to the open net and they score. For the second time in this game, St. Lawrence scores into an open net on a deficit.